Hello and welcome to a new series, my Pokemon White 2 Unlock. Yes, I am starting a new series, a little bit unexpected for me because uh, with the unexpected and unfortunate suspension of my Earthbound series due to technical difficulties, I am forced to come up with something off the cuff because uh, I had some sweet, sweet speculations videos planned to be released after Earthbound was finished, but, you know, I'm not quite ready for that yet. I am working on it, and I'm, quite frankly, pretty excited about it, but those are not ready yet, so in the meantime, I had to come up with something, and I'm going with this, a series, a, well, a type of challenge I have been wanting to try out. I've only seen part of an unlock once. Um, I'm gonna try it out. Um, let me go, uh, because I'm also trying a thing with, uh, my game recording audio, where the, the audio, the game audio is going to be kind of loud, and this is because when I when I recorded before, I would end up the way I used to record. I would get like a kind of a feedback a little bit, um, and it was kind of annoying. So I'm trying out a way to get rid of it. The only thing is the game audio is a little bit loud, so I'm going to just uh, while I explain the rules because the, it's pretty important to understand. I'm just going to go here where it's silent, so just in case the game audio is a little bit on the loud side, you'll be able to hear me. Um, I'm going to get my list here, you can see on screen right now, um, but I cannot, so I have my list here. And unlock challenge, first of all, basically the basic Nuzlocke rules apply. The first rule being if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead, you can't use it anymore. The second rule being you can only capture the first thing you encounter on any given route or area, and I will be applying dupes claws and shiny claws, so I will not capture any duplicates that I've already captured, and if a shiny Pokemon appears, all bets are off. I'm gonna try to catch it. And if I do catch it, of course I won't use it unless it was my legitimate first encounter on that area, but whatever. And then the other uh, sort of unofficial rule, but everybody does it, is you have to nickname your Pokemon. Alright, so that's the Nuzlocke. Pretty much, probably most of you understand that. So now I'm going to get into the unlock. The unlock is a challenge where you have certain extra restrictions, and then those restrictions are lifted every time you earn a new gym badge. So the eight that I chose were based off of stuff that I looked up online, and uh, there there aren't I don't as far as I can tell there's no real standard eight un, eight restrictions to unlock. But I picked I picked this one, and I I went with those restrictions but I kind of tweaked it a little bit because looking at the the game, um, the pacing of, of White 2, I wanted to sort of flip things around to make it what I think would be appropriate, and I added one or two of my own. So anyway, here I'm going to read them off. So first of all, after the first badge, I unlock the ability to use healing items in battle. So prior to the first gym badge, I will not be able to use healing items in battle. All right, pretty straightforward. Second badge, after I get the second badge, I will be able to have my Pokemon evolve. And I am playing this in challenge mode, so the second gym is... The second gym leader uses Pokemon at a level that is higher than when, when at least my starter Pokemon would evolve. So this gives me a little bit extra challenge. I get to check that one off fairly early on, but, you know, it's there. So it makes the beginning pretty challenging. After the third gym badge... I will be able to use TMs, so I can gather all the TMs I want. I will not be able to use them on my Pokemon until after I get my third gym badge. Of course, this does not include HM moves because I'm not sure. I can't remember if there's if there are HM moves required before getting the third badge, but if I do need to use an HM move to get through the game, I'm going to have to use that. So it's not a restriction on HMs, it's a restriction on TMs. I cannot use them until after I get my third gym badge. After the fourth gym badge, I will be able to use held items in battle, so all those berries, sharp Sharp Beak, Black Glasses, Experience Share, Lucky Egg. Can't use any of that until after I get my fourth badge. Um, after my fifth badge, I will be allowed to fish for encounters. Um, basically, this was a rule that I found online, and uh, I couldn't think of a, an eighth rule to put in there, so I, I kind of went with the fishing rule, and I just figured I'd stick it in after I get my fifth badge. I'll be able to fish, you know, get, get an encounter in a town or whatever. All right, so after I get my sixth badge, I will allow myself a one in one encounter e exception. Yes. Um, thinking about how to explain that, basically, after I get my sixth badge, any route or area in which I have not gotten my encounter yet, whether I've visited visited it before or I haven't visited it yet, basically, if I have not gotten my encounter in that area, I may choose one and I don't have to follow the encounter rule. So I can 
go out and look for any Pokemon I want that's available on that one route or in that one area. Um, so the way this works, maybe maybe there's a Pokemon on a route early on in the game that that I want, and so maybe I'll just leave that you know free. Like I won't get my encounter there until after I get my sixth badge, and then I'll go back and try to catch it. Um, I don't know. So uh, we'll see. Um, I I don't have anything in mind yet, but uh, I might look you know I might look up later on a route where that might have a Pokemon I might want to try to catch, and I'll save that encounter for after my six badge. We'll see. Or you can leave your own suggestions in the comments. Um, also, okay, after my seventh gym badge, I will remove the level limit that I have placed. As you can see on my panel there, um, I do have a level limit based on the gym leader's highest level Pokemon, the next upcoming gym leader. And so once I get my seventh badge, I don't have to worry about the level limit. Now, does this mean I'm going to be outrageously overtraining my Pokemon? No, of course not. That would be stupid. But it does mean that I'm gonna. Yeah, I can, I can be a little loose about it. I can be, you know, maybe one or two levels over, or have one Pokemon that's a little bit over level. Just, just a little bit. Just give myself a little bit of an edge. I don't have to worry so much about that hard level limit. So I won't be abusing the, you know, over leveling or anything after, after I get rid of my level limit. But, you know, just I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, then the final restriction that will be lifted after my 8th badge, I get one chance to revive a Pokemon. Now this can be a Pokemon that has already died, or a Pokemon that dies after I get my 8th badge. Any, any Pokemon that dies, but just one. So basically the, the way this will be working is I'll be keeping my Pokemon in, that die in PC boxes, or in a PC box, instead of releasing them. Because then, once, if, if I get to my eighth gym badge. You know, maybe if there was a fan favorite or a Pokemon that I liked that was on my team for a long time and died, maybe, or one that I thought had a lot of potential, I can maybe choose to revive them. Or I can choose to not revive any of my previously fainted Pokemon and instead save it and, like, take a revive with me to the Elite Four and get to use one revive while I'm at the Elite Four. I don't know, those are my options. We'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, that's about it. So uh, that's, if you guys have any questions about that, you can leave a comment about it. But also, we'll see as we go along. Um, I'm going to put this list away now. And then uh, let's get some music playing. Oh, before, let me just check. I should have challenge mode already set up here. Oh, no, not that. I didn't want to do that. Um, let's do this. Set difficulty. Yes, challenge mode. We have challenge mode set. All right. So, now that we have that, we are ready to get going. As soon as we get through all of these title screens, there are way too many title screens in the fifth generation games. All right. Um, we are in challenge mode, I just saw that, so, uh, let's go ahead and start a new game. Um, I'm gonna be skipping over all this text just because, you know, it's a lot of introduction stuff, and really do lose a lot of time. I actually did, full disclosure, I did a recording of this video just, I did the first episode just a couple minutes ago, and I read, read all these lines and everything, and... Then I realized I forgot to press record on my actual game recording software, so I did record my webcam and the game audio, but not the game footage itself, which is unfortunate. So we're going to get a fresh start, and I'm just going to go with the decisions I made last time. I'm going to pick the girl character. She has quite a unique style, and I like them both. Well, I, I think they're both kind of weird, but I like the girl a little bit better for her clothing and her unique hairstyle, I guess, is kind of cool. And as a matter of fact, I made the decision when I was playing this the first time around that instead of going with Banana, like I've been using as my name, or Sweet, like I did for Team Eclipse, I am going to name this girl exactly what her hairstyle demands to be named, which is Leia. I know, I'm so original, right? But, hey, that's my choice. I, I just recently, full disclosure here, I just recently actually got around to watching the Star Wars movies. I've seen five of the six of them this year. 
in preparation for the new one coming out, I guess you could say. So I, I have that on the, on the brain a little bit. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm well versed enough now to just be throwing references back and forth or just whatever. But I figured we're, we have that, you know, female protagonist. She's got the hair, just about, so might as well call her Leia. And uh, I decided to call Hugh here. Um, I'm going with, I, I went with like, with the rivals, I went with like a Star Wars versus Star Trek kind of thing, so I decided to call the rivals, not S2, um, I decided to call the rivals Spock, and why? Because, uh, I think it's funny, because Hugh's kind of a short-tempered individual, and Spock is very much not, so I think it's, it's a humorous contrast, wouldn't you say? I mean, it's only logical. All right, but yeah, we got we got some Star Wars versus Star Trek going on here, and I'm not I'm not super well versed in either of the fandoms. I'm not comfortable enough to make a bunch of references. I'm I'm familiar with them though. I could name a few characters. Uh, well, I can name characters and I can name plots and I can whatever. But uh, don't expect me to make any esoteric references to either fandom. The only fandom where I can make those esoteric references is Pokemon. When we're talking about like pop culture stuff. Also the Beatles, if we're talking about music, I can make esoteric references there, but those two categories are about where my uh, stock of esoteric knowledge ends, so don't expect anything amazing from me as far as Star Wars and Star Trek references. Alright, so we got this lovely cinematic opening, and yes, this is our mom. Oh look, at the pet the did the petals just melt into the ground? All right. We're getting an X transceiver call. Yes, I called the X transceiver even though I think it's supposed to be the cross transceiver just because it has an X and X transceiver is fun to say. But anyway, we already talked about that when I played Volt White. Oh, hi. Why, Aurea Juniper? I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Wow, a Pokédex for my child? Why, that's great. I think a journey would be a wonderful experience. What now? She's already here? Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. Once you've decided on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat. Got it. Okay, no worries. No worries, mate. Haha. <laughs> Leia, I'm home! Alright. You are indeed. Alright, so first things first, well, first, first things first is... <clears throat> change that scrolling text speed. Second thing is... Alright. Choosing my starter Pokémon. We, we won't have to worry about that for, for a few minutes, but... The way I'm going to use is the classic, random, quote-unquote, way to pick your starter. Um, using your trainer ID. So if the last digit of my trainer ID is a 1, 2, or 3, I will go with the Grass Starter Snivy. If the last digit of my trainer ID is 4, 5, or 6, I will go with the Fire Starter Tepig. And if the last digit of my trainer ID is 7, 8, or 9, I will go with the Water Starter Oshawott. And of course, if I have a 0 at the end, I will just move on to the next digit over and repeat the process. Alrighty, so in the last sort of recording that didn't record, I ended up with Oshawa. I was kind of happy about that, but let's see what I end up with this time. Oh, I pressed it wrong again. I did that last time too. I'm making the same mistakes twice, just for you, just, just to make it seem like the first time, right? And we have a 9 again. Alright, so we will be picking Oshawa again. Now I did decide for a naming convention for all my Pokémon, and... It really has nothing to do with the names I chose for the, you know, trainer and rival. Because that's just like, when nerds collide, that's the, that's the theme of the rivals. But for my Pokemon, I've actually had an idea of a nicknaming convention that I wanted to do. I like, I planned out in advance for this series because the Star Wars and Star Trek naming thing, I just, I literally thought of in the moment. I'm just like, oh, hey, she has... Princess Leia hair. I'm gonna name her Leia, and then I just thought with Hugh, oh, I'm gonna, you know, name him after a Star Trek character, why not? So, but the naming convention idea that I had for my Pokemon was to name them after cities. 
I just thought it would be interesting to name them after cities because cities, there's so many thousands of cities, right? So that gives me plenty of options for things to name my Pokemon. So that's what we're gonna do. But anyway, we have Spock here. And the thing, the running thing I'm gonna try to do with Spock here is he has quite emotional lines and I'm going to try to read them as blandly as and unfeelingly as I possibly can muster off the cuff. So let's try this. Hey, did you get a Pokemon yet? There aren't any Pokemon trainers around here, and I am getting bored. Can you not tell by my voice how bored I am? Actually, I do sound quite bored. What is that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Fascinating. Leia! If you want a Pokemon, or if you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? Indeed. Let us go get your Pokemon. There is something I have to do. And to do that, I need someone I can trust besides my partner Pokemon. A person I can trust. That's right, I am talking about you. You seem like you have good instincts. You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye-bye, Leia. Okay, let us go find that person named Bianca. Let's go. Indeed, let's go. Um, which way are we going here? I guess it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna go straight on over. la -dee da So yeah, I'm gonna use the, uh, city nicknaming convention. And... Here we are. Oh, I get it. The Outlook is Aspersia's most famous spot. All the Bianca is up there looking at the scenery. Yes, um, somehow I knew to go this way, right? Okay, so let's go uh, get our Pokemon, I guess. It's so pretty! I don't know, do I have to, do I have to say all of Bianca's lines? She talks a lot. Oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon professor, Professor Juniper. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Leia? Yes, I am the Leia you're looking for. Oh wait, you're Leia! Wow, you're exactly like what I heard! Nice to meet you! I have a really important request to ask you, blah blah Pokedex. Yeah, sure. Even though I'm playing a form of Nuzlocke and therefore I really can't try to complete the Pokedex. But, you know, you have to say it so that you get a starter and you can actually play the game. Okay, let's, uh, here are our starters, but I will pick Oshawott. And so now let's see. Let's see if I get a male again. Because what I decided to name my starter, if it's a male, is Orlando. Because I figured it's a nice city. It's a... Uh, and is still a male. It's a city, um, it's the nearest... Hold on, let me make sure I spell this right. Orlando. Yeah, Orlando is the nearest big, well-recognized city in my area, so I went to college there and everything. Orlando's kind of cool, you know, you got the theme parks and all that stuff. So, yeah, my starter is Orlando the Oshawott, and we got a Pokedex, which is great. Because we can catch Pokemon with it. Alright, and uh, let's check out let's check out Orlando's stats. Now, in the last not like, the last flawed episode I recorded, um, he had a neutral nature, which was nice. Let's see what we have now. A brave nature. High attack and low speed. I'm not sure how to feel about this. I mean, I don't think speed is Oshawott's best stat anyway, and I'd rather lower speed than, like, a defensive stat. Or even an offensive stat. I don't know. I'm, I'm okay with that. It's not as good. I like. I'm. I'm always better with neutral natures because they're just, you know, no harm done, pretty much. But I'll, I'll be okay with that. Um, we have to go into a battle with Spock here because. Uh, well, first I guess let's uh, let's talk to him. So this is your partner, huh? Fascinating. My sister already said so. But you must be sure to take adequate care of your Pokémon. Got it? 
Don't let them be dying in any Pokemon battles or anything. It's a Pokedex! Yes, I'm holding a Pokedex, indeed. Please, give me a Pokedex as well. I would like to become stronger. If I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon. That will make me stronger. It's only logical. Yeah, who are you again? Yes, you're Spock. Can't you tell? He's so much like Spock, right? He's so Vulcan. Alright, but he's got a Pokedex too, so now we have to battle. Okay, so um, I'm actually feeling pretty good about going into this battle. Because um, in the last, last time I tried recording this... Yeah, we have a Star Wars vs. Star Trek there. Nerds collide. Anyway, last time I battled... I tried this battle. It was a close call. I ended up winning, but it was... I, I was down... I don't think I was down quite to the red. I got lucky because he ended up using Leer instead of Tackle. But now this Oshwat has a brave nature, so my Tackle should do more. So I should be feeling good. Oh yeah, oh well, it was a crit, but still, that, that was good. Good, good sign. Of course, as I had... as I said when I tried recording this before, it doesn't really matter necessarily if you lose the first battle, because really the Nuzlocke hasn't begun, because you can't catch any Pokemon, you really haven't done anything yet at all. So, uh, but yeah, we took this one out, no problem. I guess that brave nature was really a good thing. The only thing that's going to be a little bit scary with it is uh, trying to catch Pokemon, but oh well. It worked out for this battle, that's for sure. I lost. This is quite different than battling with wild Pokémon. Well, no matter. I am just happy to know that you are a trainer that I can count on. Alright, I am heading off first. Go and become more powerful, acquire more experience, and more Pokémon. Blah blah blah, but now we have to do more tutorialing. Yay. Basically, Bianca's gonna teach us how to use a Pokémon Center. So, pardon me if I just, uh, kinda gloss over all of this text here. Not much in the mood. Uh, I recorded... I've been having a cough lately, as, as I think I mentioned in one of my Earthbound videos, and uh, yeah, so I've, I believe it or not, I, I still have it, but I recorded... when I recorded the entire... this entire episode before that actually didn't end up getting recorded, um, but I recorded the webcam. I did the entire thing. I did not cough. I did not have to cough once. And I've already, during this recording, coughed several times. Um, you'll probably notice there's some times where the video kind of cuts or, like, kind of skips. Um, that's why. I'm cutting out my terrible coughing. Yes, my terrible coughing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy some potions. I can't use healing items in battle, but I can you know, use potions outside of battle, of course, so I will. And I don't need more Pokeballs, I don't think. I think I have plenty. And yeah, this guy sells mail. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah. So th there's a couple points in this video where I'm just gonna cut... Nothing happened, like... Like, for instance, one time, one time the coughing happened, I was walking. And I knew the cough was coming on, so I stopped walking. So, as far as the gameplay video shows, it, it doesn't skip anything. Like, you don't miss anything. It's just like, you'll see, you'll hear the audio skip, I guess. Um, I'm sorry about that. To be fair, I did the entire video before perfectly. Just, uh, I didn't press the record button and I'm still kicking myself over that, but oh well. So far everything is... Everything has come out almost exactly the same. Same name, same starter. The starter has a different nature. That is pretty much the only difference so far in this entire thing. Also, I'm going through it mildly quicker because it's my second time going through it. But yeah, other than that, this is pretty much exactly how it panned out the last time I tried recording. So good for you. Good news for you. You did not miss anything. Now, the only thing that might change here is what our first encounter is on Route 19, which reminds me, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go register the town map. Just because for now, before I get any other, um, no, not that. Before I get any other key items that might be useful, I'm going to use this just so I can keep track of what area I'm in. Alright. 
But before we can actually get our encounter, we have to go watch Bianca get an encounter. So yeah, this, this tutorial here, just to be fair, this is not my encounter, just to make sure I'm perfectly clear. This is not my encounter because Bianca is encountering it and fighting it. Let's see if Bianca's battle plays out exactly the same. Let's see, level 2 female pearl line, I believe that was what it was last time. I'm not sure if this is hardwired to be exactly the same battle every time. Like, with exactly the same damage and everything. It looks like exactly the same damage. Because I think I remember hearing in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, there is a small chance that, I guess because the I guess that the Pokemon generated, the Zigzagoon and the Ralts, in Wally's Pokemon Catching Tutorial, there's a small chance, I guess, depending on what natures you get, or if the Zigzagoon gets a critical hit or something, you can have Wally knock out the Ralts. Which, I wonder how that works. Because, like, I guess that means he wouldn't catch it. I don't know. But uh, they probably fixed it by now, so it, I'm sure it plays out... It looks like it plays out exactly the same every time. But anyway... Yeah. Let's go to Flockessy or Flockessy Town. But we're just gonna get our encounter here, and then we're gonna call it a day. Especially for me, since this is the second time I've been through this. It's like Groundhog Day. Um, let me just check stat-wise. Okay, attack is still a little bit lower than special attack, so my best bet is to go with tackle on whatever I see. Alright, what is our first encounter going to be for this entire game? Will it be the same as last time? It is! Is it the same level? No, it's only level 2. Well, this frightens me. I'm afraid of hitting it now. It's level 2, My and my Oshawott has a higher attack stat. Alright. Well, let me try tossing a Pokeball at it without weakening it. Let's see if that works. Come on. Alright. So yeah, same Pokemon that I caught the first time I tried this, but lower level and different gender. So, the devious Pokemon. I'm gonna nickname this thing. It's a female instead of a male, but I think I'm gonna name this the same thing I did last time. Because, yeah. Catmandu. I mean, that sounds like more of a masculine name to me, but... Why not, right? Alright, so actually, I did not use any, uh... I, d I did not use any moves or anything, so I don't even have to go back to the Pokémon Center and heal. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at her. I guess, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too thrilled. Oh man, that is a terrible nature for you. You need your speed, because you don't have a whole lot else going for you. Oh well, um, I don't- I didn't check the nature on my Perline from the last time I tried anyway, so I don't even know if it was any better or worse. Yeah, not too thrilled about a Perline. I would have preferred a Lillipup, but I think I have another chance or two to get a Lillipup. And also some other Pokémon on the upcoming routes. But I guess in the meantime, uh, that's gonna do it. I could try to raise up Katmandu a couple levels, actually. It probably... Oh, I'm used to touch screen here. Um, touch screen switching. You know what? Let's do that. We might as well. Because I went through this episode a little bit faster this time around. So I might as well use... Okay, well, at least I didn't get a Patrat. I definitely prefer... At least slightly prefer a Perline over a Patrat. Although, I guess Patrat is pretty good for some HMs. But yeah, we're just gonna- we're just gonna do a couple of battles here. I wanna see how long- I wanna see how long it would take me to get Katmandu up a level. I wanna see- I mean, I would like to get it to level 4, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. And, uh, you took quite a beating there, actually. Um, Orlando. I don't know if this is such a good idea anymore. This is definitely- I think I'm gonna switch out and run. Can I run now? I don't wanna- ooh. This is gonna be terrible if my first episode ends in death. I can't use items in battle yet, so I'm just gonna run. Well, that didn't do a lot. No, no, I'm not- I'm not gonna- I'm gonna resist temptation. I'm just gonna run. Uh-huh. Alright, so we did one battle, so uh, I guess I will leave this off the way I did the last attempt I made at this recording, which is healing at a Pokemon Center. And I guess we'll, we'll train up Katmandu, 
because we do need, because of the restrictions, um, it would be nice to have as much backup as possible. So let's go do that. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this episode, I think. Um, maybe I should, um, let me buy a couple more potions, actually. So yeah, um, let me know, uh, let me know, first of all, uh, how the sound is working out for you here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out too, of course. I'm trying to speak up, um, but it's, I'm gonna have to remember that, because I don't always speak up when I'm doing these things. So, uh, hopefully it sounds okay. Um, I think the game audio might still end up being a little too loud. I'm gonna keep playing around with, with it, see what I can do to make it better. Um, but let me know what you think, how it sounds, or if you're okay with it. Maybe you're okay with it, I don't know. Um, also, uh, leave your comments, suggestions for city names that I can use for future encounters, because I could use a good, you know, I, I could use a good list to have on hand of, of names I can give. Um, and other than that, I guess that's gonna do it. So guys, if you like this video and you're excited for this new series, please leave a like and also subscribe so you can stay up to date on when my latest videos come out. Another good way to stay up to date on videos is to like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. As always, the links are in the description. As far as how often I'm gonna be doing this series, I'm thinking once a week for starters. I might do it more times a week if my schedule permits. But I also wanna do some work on my upcoming Sweet Speculations videos in the background, well, so I might need a little, you know, a break from recording, so maybe I'll only have one recording on my main channel a week and on, one on Team Eclipse a week. We'll, we'll see how it works. I don't know. Um, for now, I'm gonna shoot for once a week, and then if I can do more, I'll do more. But, yeah, alright, we're done. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon White 2 Unlock.